Hey everyone, uh, Deathly Reviews here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to do some stuff in Photoshop. Like, uh, this will be episode one of our Photoshop tutorials, and basically it's going to be like a tutorial where you learn as you go, and I will be making various things during this season, which will probably be about ten episodes or so. I have no clue yet, but anyways, um... What we're going to start out with is I'm going to make a CD cover for my band. If you want to do a CD cover, you go over here to File, New, and the dimensions of it are 4.75 and 4.75. That's all you need to know for that. Okay, so first we're going to go to the Paint Bucket tool right here, and we're going to get a gradient. And for my band, this cover is going to be kind of dark and gloomy, because, well, you'll see. So we're going to go to a gray we're gonna go to black and we're gonna use a little bit of orange like right there because that'll give it the sepia looking tint uh... we're gonna check out this one because i would like let's see uh... i kind of like it but not too sure to ensure that you will like it or not you gotta drag this around however and see if you'll like it and for the fact that my band is just a beginning band this is gonna be um, just like a little EP so it'll be like a little mixtape kind of yeah we're just gonna go with this gradient because I seem to like it this way usually uh, let's see yeah like that that looks pretty legit because it has just a little bit of orange right down here in the corner um, let's see, uh, we're gonna do, let's look for a good font for this, um, hmm, let's see, basically if you go right here, these are all your fonts, and before you click right here to make the size of font, you can just click which one you want and it'll do that right away. I think I'm going to do You Murder. I've always liked this font. And we're going to put, um, what are we going to call this? Z Day. Mix. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Uh, let's see how this looks, first of all. Yes, this looks perfect for what we're going with. All right, cool. Apply. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to right-click on the layer that it is, where it says Z-Day Mixtape. I'm going to warp the text. I'm going to do an arc, which is just like this and you can bring it down like this you can do so many different things with it I just want it like a small curve so I'm gonna do this and there you go like that and then once it's like that you can uh, fix it by doing control T and you could edit the size of it it's really nice okay and then we're gonna press enter and that's how it looks so far uh, we're going to right click this again and we're going to go to blending options you go to stroke you're going to put a sizable stroke that you like on it uh... let's see i think we're going to use that one that one looks nice uh... how do i want this Hmm. let's try something if you go to color overlay and you click black it looks like that and then if you make the stroke red Uh, let's see okay I'm liking that not gonna lie I kind of like that because if you look at it it like brings out the whole thing and uh, makes it look like the it's outlined the name is outlined so yeah I'm gonna stick with that and then I usually like to throw a little bit of satin on it and some bevel and emboss it just makes it look nicer if you know what I mean um, we're gonna put an outer glow on it because I like outer glows this outer glow is going to be orange. Where is this orange? Right here. 
and we're gonna make the size of it pop like that and we're done with that so far okay and now I have our little logo right here here's our logo for the band Sophocles Suicide we're gonna just drag it from there over to here we're gonna resize it um, let's see yeah we're gonna resize it we're gonna have him hanging back here like that and we're gonna just throw him behind the text like that and he's right there so yeah um, then I'm gonna add my band's logo at the bottom and for this we go to zombie holocaust and we type in soft oh please And there's that. Like so. And this one we're going to do the same effect that we did up here to this word right here. Uh, we're going to do that though, but then we're going to go right here. We need to get a different font because my band's logo has two different fonts. The first one is Zombie Holocaust and the second one is Papyrus, I believe, if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. Ah, oh, come on. Hmm. Got to change that back to Zombie Holocaust now. Yeah, I forgot to say if you don't change or if you don't click right here before you change the font, it'll change your first font or whatever font you've had before on there. I forgot to say that. Sorry. But now you guys know. So, now I got to find Papyrus again. LMNOP Papyrus. Sophocles Sue who is side like that and then we bring it right under there like so like so and we have my band's logo okay now we put some editing on this we go to blending options Remember what I said about the stroke, you guys? You make it red. And then you go to color overlay. And you make that black. And then you're going to throw a satin and a bevel and emboss on it just to make it look nice. And I'm going to throw this down here a bit. And I'm going to get my Sophocles wording. Put that a little bit behind it. I'm going to basically do the same thing to it. I'm going to go to color overlay, we're going to make it black, and then we're going to do the stroke, which will be red. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to do the bevel and boss and send. And now we have the same wording, like that. And if you guys really like it, then yeah. Um, and since it's called Z-Day, you guys figure it might have something to do with zombies. That is where you correct. We're going to go to open. A while back I did a little bit of drawing here and there and I figured out how to make a zombie. I drew a zombie so we're gonna get my little zombie out and I don't have it. Hmm. Huh. Okay, well I guess we're not gonna get the zombie out, but Hmm. Oh well. I tried. What can we add to this then? What would look nice on this? Hmm. Because I wanted to throw my little zombie right back here because he, uh, he was a cool looking zombie. I'll have to re-edit that picture. I guess we could go to Google and find a zombie. There wouldn't be anything bad with doing that, I guess. Cartoon zombie. We're going to find one that looks actually pretty good and does not have the watermark on it. Because the ones with the watermarks, you can't get rid of the watermark. Well, you can, but it's like really tough. And I don't want to use something that's really copyrighted. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Hmm. Can't really find one, you guys. This is weird. Huh. You 
you know what with the way my band is I would use this one so I'm gonna use this one you basically click copy and it's a screamo band by the way so yeah don't don't fret you press copy and then you go to control V and it should bring up this you go like this just gonna resize it so you can get the whole image in there and it'll be easier like this and then you click over here onto the eraser you click the eraser you right click and you click magic eraser tool and you click around all around her body and just bam 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 click all the parts that was the background on her and it will go away like so and we're just gonna remove her arm at the bottom cuz yeah it just looks cooler this way and for these tricky ones like that we're just gonna go in with the eraser tool like this we're gonna zoom in with control plus we're gonna go in like so uh, just erase all around her click right click to change the size of this and yes you are gonna need to change the size of it believe me otherwise you're gonna end up looking like shit we're just gonna even this out like that okay and uh, get rid of that part of the finger like that go up here like that uh, yep that's everything on the zombie and then we're gonna control minus to get back to it like this and we're gonna control T to get that bigger like that and we're just gonna put her somewhat like that and we're gonna stick her behind all these layers like that uh... i think it needs one more zombie right behind her standing above her i think that would look pretty cool so let's get another one um, I love that I have longer uploadings because with the longer uploads I will be able to upload this no matter how long it's been I think it's already been like somewhere around 20 minutes because Photoshop does take a well it doesn't take a long time I guess but it does take some skill to learn so I decided I'll make you guys a Photoshop tutorials and stuff like that because I'm just a nice guy <laughs> um, let's see what what kind of zombie? Well, for the fact that this zombie is so simple, I'll just use him. We're gonna, once again, oh, it has a watermark on it. Okay, it's okay, you guys. It's okay. We'll just... Hmm. We could use this one. Nope, it has a watermark, too. Let's see. I wish there wasn't any watermarks on them. Well, for the fact that my band isn't even big and on iTunes or selling CDs, I guess we can use anything we want. So I'm gonna go up here and where are they? I found them just a second ago, right here. We're gonna use this little Charmander, zombie Charmander. Copy image. Go back to Photoshop. We're gonna do this. We're gonna resize the image with Control T. We're just gonna bring him out like that. We're gonna go back to the Magic Eraser tool. We're going to just click like that, all done, and then we're going to go back in. We're going to zoom in because it looks like there's someone's name right here. So we're just going to go like that. And we're done with that. So we could zoom back out like so. We're going to remove this, and we're going to put him behind the, with, behind the girl. We're going to go upwards like this and like this and bam All right, no I don't really like it like that so I'm gonna flip it like that and I'm gonna put him right there standing right on her like that alright and uh, we're done what the heck is me okay I gotta get out of that because there was music playing uh, well this is my Facebook feel free to add me just tell me who you are of course okay so yeah this is how you do it right here uh... we should add a parental advisory sticker crap still gotta go back into google for that so we're gonna go to google images we're gonna type in parental advisory sticker 
And mainly because my band is a screamo band, and we have to uh, mark what's parental advisory because it's uh, we cuss a lot. So we're just gonna uh, we gotta actually move this to the very top layer. All right, we're gonna put that right there. We're gonna resize it with Control T once again. We're gonna move it right here like that, and we're done. And that's my cover. And that's how you make a cover for uh, a CD for whatever you'd like, you guys. That's all you do. Um, I misspelled my own band's name. Basically, what you do for that is you just go and get the text tool, and you click on your text wherever you need it. You go bam, bam, wait. Like that. There we go. I had misspelled my own band's name. I feel like a dunce. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, that is right. That is very right. Okay. Well, this has been Death Reviews, or also known as Jasper Jizz on Her Face from Sophocles Suicide, as you see. Uh, once our Z Day mixtape releases, I will be putting that link in this description, also with a little annotation to another video of mine. So. I will probably do this. This has been episode one of the Photoshop Tutorials episode CD cover. Okay, have a good day, you guys. Bye.